Hey there, Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you'll join me in my love of crafting and DIYs and hit that subscribe button. This video is part of a great collab, but I will tell you more about that in a little bit. Let's jump into these super simple Valentine's DIYs. For DIY number one, you'll need one of these hearts that you can pick up at your local Dollar Tree. And we are going to leave it the way it is and we are just going to work on the backside. Um, I just love having double-sided decor. Once I got it all unwrapped, I am taking off the hanger and I'm just going to set this aside as I will then be adding it back on once we finish creating this side of the heart. So to start the process, I took some antique wax and I initially started applying it with a paper towel and I quickly realized that this wood just really, really soaks this up and this process was going to take forever. So I switched to a baby wipe and I take and just pour it on. Just pour the antique wax on and then I apply it with a baby wipe. It, it thins it out a little and makes it spread much easier. While that heart was drying, I took this piece of decor that you can also pick up from the Dollar Tree and I am just basically tracing it. I just want the shape of the heart. This just happened to be about the right size to fit in that large one. And so I just take a Sharpie and I just trace half of it and then I am folding it over and I am going to cut this out so that I have a burlap heart. And I apologize, I keep going off frame here, um, but basically I'm just folding it and then cutting out the heart shape. I then take some white acrylic paint and just place it on a piece of paper and then with a chippy brush, I apply the paint to the heart in quick light strokes. Once I had as much white paint applied as I liked, I am, took the burlap heart, which off camera I did run an iron over as it was pretty, pretty wrinkled. Uh, and then I am just taking and applying hot glue and gluing this down with the hot glue. Now I am doing like really thin lines of the hot glue as I don't want big globs as they will show through the burlap. I can't tie a nice bow to save my life, so I am all about the messy bows. So that is what I am doing here. I am taking this ribbon and I am cutting uh, three lengths of this particular ribbon and then I'm going to cut two lengths of this thicker brown ribbon. I then take and just lay out in like a star pattern the pieces of ribbon just sort of at random and then I take a small piece of twine and loop it underneath all of the ribbons that I have laid out and then I just simply tie it in several tight knots. Then I cut off the excess twine so that it doesn't show. Using the hot glue gun I just take and glue the bow to the top of the heart. And lastly, I take and hot glue one of the burlap roses to the center. I reattach the hanger and this super simple DIY is done. Here is a quick peek at it. Stay tuned for more at the final reveal. All right, let's talk about this great collab that I am part of. It is hosted by Christine at the DIY Craftaholic and Tammy at Happiness Created. Here you try it 2.0. And basically what we did is we drew names and whoever's name we got, we sent them the base craft supplies to create three of our DIYs. With those base supplies, then the receiving person would create something similar, add their own embellishments and their own style and make it their own and all with a farmhouse theme. All right, so I sent my package to Cindy with Z9 Designs, so be sure to see what she made. And I received my package, my huge package, from Donna at the Creole Crafter. She seriously spoiled me so much. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, Donna. And she chose for me to create three DIYs from her Dollar Tree Farmhouse Valentine's Decor video. All right, friends, go check out all of these lovely ladies channels as well as the full playlist. All of the links to everything you need will be in my description box below. All right, let's get back into the DIYs. For DIY number two, 
I took this little house that Donna sent me, and then I had this uh, heart ornament in my stash. So I am going to use that. And I am going to take antique wax, and I'm going to take and apply it with a baby wipe to the roof of this house, as well as to the heart ornament. I then take and attach the heart ornament to the heart already on the house with the hot glue gun. Next, I cut a length of twine and I am just simply going to wrap this house with the twine. Super simple this time, guys. We are doing super simple. So I take a little bit of hot glue and glue the start of the twine to the back and then I am just going to wrap it. No rhyme, no reason, just what I think looks good. And then I glue the other end to the back of the other side of the house. To finish this one off, I just take and make a little bow out of twine and hot glue it to the front of the heart. Now, if you notice, I placed it right on where the hole in the heart is just to cover that up. And that is it for this one. Here is a quick peek, more at the final reveal. Okay, for DIY number three, our final DIY for this video, I took this little home sign also sent to me from Donna and it was kind of rough around the edges. And so I am just taking a piece of sanding paper and I am just sort of sanding in between those edges and getting off the jagged pieces. You could probably skip this step unless you're like me and a little bit of a perfectionist. Back to our trusty antique wax. I'm all about the antique wax when it's farmhouse. So I just take this on sort of like it's this is like a chippy brush as well. And I am just going over this sort of all willy nilly just to antique it a little bit. It sort of brings out the definition in the letters. And I just love the way that this just adds definition and that farmhouse vibe. Doesn't that just make a big difference? Anyhow, so finally I take these sprigs, which were also sent to me by Donna, and I take two of them off the pick and cut off the ends. And you guys, this was tedious and it took a little bit of time, but I am just basically going to glue these around the edge of the O, just to give this some color and make that O stand out just a little bit. And so, like I said, I am going to really, really speed this up, but this took some time and some patience, but simple hot glue and stick it down process here. And here's a quick peek at how it turned out. All right, let's look at the reveal. Let's look at all of our projects. So first of all, we have our heart. And I am just going to kind of let you guys take a peek at these um, and get some close up uh, visuals of these and let you guys look. I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you have a favorite? Um, what would you have done different? I just love comments. I love comments. So tell me what you think. Uh, and then we have our little house here. Uh, this is super simple too. Um, but you know, I'm just loving the simple neutral colors in these DIYs. Uh, I want to quick shout out to all the wonderful ladies that made this collaboration possible. Donna, thank you again for like spoiling me rotten with all of the craft supplies. Uh, I need to do another video. I got so much great stuff. And I just really want to say thank you to my subscribers and everyone who watches my videos. It just means the world to me. And thanks for stopping in today. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.